And um, he is some sh sh Mongolian village, and it's Christmas Day. And he says to the interpreter, can you say Merry Christmas to them? And they go, and he's like, Christmas. I'm like, and he goes, um, Christmas, uh, Jesus Christ? And the two Mongolian desert nomads go, <laughs> so my brother's like, wow, Jesus Christ, he's like Santa Claus, you know, my brother's like, so my brother goes, Shakespeare, and the two Mongolians go, oh, and a Mongolian go, to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most famous phrase that was ever written. Why? <coughs> it's the only no question. Questions. Structure. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. Right? All things are in three acts. To be, act one. Act two, or not to be. Act three, that is the question. All things go from a negative to a positive, or a positive to a negative, based on the uh, act structure. He's asking a question. He wants to find out what the question is. At the beginning, he doesn't know. By the end, he knows what the question is that he's going to have to solve. That is actually the first act of the three-act structure of the monologue. In this hypothesis of the monologue itself, in its three-act structure, there's a positive to a negative, back to the positive, to be or not to be. That is the contrapuntal op opposition of the statement in the first place, right? The answer to the question is a question. The question is existence. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's the perfect sentence. You cannot create a better sentence. It's about, do I or do I not exist? It's one, two, three, negative to positive, with a three-act structure with a uh, comparison, negative comparison in the first place. It's perfect. Why is the negative comparison part of it? To be, or not. I know, but why, why is it perfect? Why is that part of it being perfect? The comparison. Because you're, you're in a three-act structure, because it goes negative to positive oh, to negative. Okay. And all you need to do is insert the word not, and you get the, the opposition. Right. And, and it's also the very backbone of life. It is the ultimate question in the end. And the question is resolved by saying, it's a question. <coughs> That's inanswerable. That is the question, is the answer. It's perfect. It's why it's eternal. It's perfect. So. I think in the middle of black holes, when the entire universe is, is fooling in on itself, this sentence will still be being said. <laughs> I mean, or if you believe in such things, it was said infinite number of centuries ago in universes far away, and it will always be said, it's perfect. And on Friday I'll show you how Eine Kleine Nacht music by Mozart is the same. Structure is everything. 